Um, so uh, here is, um, let's go to uh, 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 Kevin McCarthy, who's talking about police reform. There will be, I should say, some uh, Republicans who are going to be uh, less than enthusiastic about uh, police reform. Again, they see this as a potential winner for them. Um, or at the very least, they see this as the only possible winner for them at the moment. Um, here is Kevin McCarthy trying to make people understand that the type of prejudice and bigotry that's involved with the color of people's skin is not the only kind that involves color. And Absolutely. Are you confident that uh, both sides, Republicans and Democrats, can find common ground to come up with some sort of a solution? Because this is a problem. I know we can come to uh, common ground. This is this is a problem bigger than even the Floyd family. These are things that have happened that were not on videotape. This is a moment in time that people should work together to strive to solve the problem. I will tell you the George family, they deserve justice. And no other family should have to go through this again. To the protesters, they have a right to be heard. But to those people who were looting and the Antifa individuals, there should be consequences for those actions. This nation believes in the rule of law that no one should be judged based upon the color of their skin. And nobody should be judged based upon the color of their uniform either. And that's what we should work together in principle to make sure at the end of the day, the thing that we've all believed is that we strive for a more perfect union and we can do that. We are Americans. We believe in the ideas of what created our nation and we can strive to perfect those. And this is our moment in time to do it. Oh my God. Well, first off, Jesus Christ. One of the ideas that created our nation involved, let's be honest, um, a very healthy dose of genocide and racism that uh, subjugated um, the people who lived here before we did. <laughs> I feel like Polly Walnuts watching that. I'm like, does this, I forget what he, I forget the word, but it's like, does he get paid by the word? It's like, just wrap it up. I like, I get it. He also referred to them as the George family, the George family. I caught that. And then also, yeah, they, <laughs> the family I'm blatantly disrespecting on national television deserve justice. And then I'm going to compare I me mean, cop discrimination to, I mean, yeah, Blue Lives Matter. I look forward to a roundtable of a BLM, the two BLMs meeting and sharing their stories and being heard. I tell you what, Cop Cornell West is a great character. <laughs> so uh, we're all in the fucking democratic experiment. <laughs> Whether we're breaking heads. Whether we're paralyzing some Temple University student who's a prick. <laughs> McCarthy is a long-time guy that can't though. If you search Kevin McCarthy, he can't speak. People have clipped him on, on C-SPAN. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy can't speak one. Verse 2015. Peace without freedom is meaningless. Little side note. Do you realize what our current President Barack Obama has with the president before Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Carter? Those two presidents both won the Nobel Peace Prize. Reagan did not, but who brought people more freedom? <laughs> yeah, Mike Schroff, Kevin M M M McCarthy. Um, <laughs> you know what similarity Kevin McCarthy had with the last Republican leader was that they both had difficulty speaking. It's just that John Brainerd was drunk. Fun. Exactly. <laughs> Here is um, 